Although from a part of the country where passion for the game is very real, we're here at Elland Road. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Leeds United up against Real Sociedad. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Number five, Robin Cook. Number six, Liam Cooper. Number 21, Pascal Strauch. Number 12, Tyler Adams. Number eight, Mark Rocker. And the starting 11 for Real Sociedad. Well, if the players at the side of the diamond don't tuck in when they lose possession and the number 10 doesn't recover, the holding midfield player could be in for a really difficult game today. And so the battle commences. Aronson. And Rodrigo has it. Brendan Aronson. And return to Rodrigo. Nicely timed tackle. Well, there's always a pretty good chance Rodrigo will bring his considerable influence to bear on the proceedings. Stuart, what might we see from him in this case? Well, Derek, goal scorers thrive on confidence and he's certainly got an abundance of that at the moment. Four goals in the last three games. Every time he gets the ball, he looks like he's going to take a chance. He's in outstanding form at the moment. And it's gone behind for the corner. But well, he's gone short with it. Just couldn't get it through. Another corner. <laughs> Favouring the short one. Rodrigo. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Takafusa Kubo. And the ball with Sir Lot. How about the cross? Oh, he's really up on the up here. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Silva. Must take the lead here. Well, still an issue here. And a poor ball. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Good work to win it back high up the pitch.
Alexander Surlot. It's with Mikel Marino. Well, Leeds come away with it. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Silva's glorious pass. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Takafusa Kubo. Options in the centre. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Fed over towards the back post. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, as you can see from the stats, there's been little between the two teams. It's been really tight, really cagey. Let's just hope it opens up and one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Yes, a stalemate so far. Will that situation change? And space here on the flank. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Now well, the outcome is a free kick here. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Well, he's lost it. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. Alexander Surlot. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Using his physical strength to shield it. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Marino. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And there it is, the half-time whistle, thus bringing to an end the first half here at Elland Road. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. And now they get the ball rolling. Couldn't get it through. Another corner. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Mark Rocca. Aronson and they did have the ball but not anymore
theme emerging of wasted possession. Could be a chance to break here. Silva. Options in the middle. He must finish. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Favouring the short one. Losing possession a bit easily. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. And they're making a change. Into the box it goes. Disappointing cross and gobbled up by the keeper. And into the last 30 minutes now. Timely intervention. Brendan Aronson. A oh, terrific pass. Could it be? Well, that was a guilt-edged opportunity for the equaliser. Well, I'm not sure how he's missed the target from there. That's a poor effort. Substitution time it is here. Diego Rico. Alexander Surlot. Mikel Marino. And the ball with Surlot. Chances on. Oh, right in the nick of time. Well, with the support of these fans, Leeds are throwing everything at this now. Can they get back into it, though? Subeldia. In behind for him to chase. Silva. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Marino. Well, visionary passing. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Well, this game ebbing away and the visitors on course to eke out a narrow victory. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game, but if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Alexander Surlot. It's a weighted pass. Decent cross, but nobody in the vicinity. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Silva. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. And teammates around him. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. That's a useful cross. It might still be problematic. And a time for calm on the ball. Can they hit on the break? Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Takafusa Kubo. Marino. This could finish it. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. 
Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. Going short. Marino. Yaramendi. Surely. Oh, that's a fine save. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today. Really, no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and fully deserved to score that winning goal.